All right. In this video, I'm going to show you what the mobile broadband quick connect software looks like and does. I'm going to open it up quickly and uh, get it going. I've got a K4201 device plugged into the computer at the moment. Um, we're starting up the mobile broadband quick connect release 10.3. And I want to explain to you exactly what it is in a moment. The software isn't uh, completely installed onto the machine. What it does is it uses a web user interface that resides on the modem itself. The uh, mobile broadband uh, software that's installed is basically just a framework that accesses the web UI when you click on these different little links at the top. So uh, we'll start at the quick start. You'll see the framework pop up um, and then uh, gives us a little bit of a loading screen which will come up in a moment and it will show you the landing page of the Quick Connect software. There we go. It's got the Quick Connect software. As you can see, we can scroll down to all the different links in it. This is the uh, page that you'd see if you were to open your web browser and connect to 192.168.9.1. It will automatically go to this landing page, which will load up in a moment as well. And it will show you what you just saw in the previous window over here. So what the Quick Connect does is it is a an onboard mobile connection manager for the uh, for the device. You are able to do settings like your mobile broadband settings. You can check the status of your device. You can do a SIM pin if your if your SIM card has a pin on it. It's got a connection manager over here where you can choose your account type. Uh, you can choose between a custom uh, account type and then the standard Vodacom connection type. And then there's the network settings where you can switch from 3G preferred to 3G only or GPRS only. And you can then choose your preferred network as well. You can choose if it's automatic or if you want to force it onto uh, MTN, Vodacom or C or ATA even. Um, these devices, as I understand, are not locked, so you can use other SIM cards for in uh, South Africa um, to be able to make a connection to the internet. Here's your standard SMS tab. Um, here you can uh, read your messages. You can also write messages, send messages. Um, and you can check your sent messages. You can save drafts. There is a settings menu here. Um, where you can uh, probably set the SMSC number and uh, do a couple of settings there. Great. Your account tab is used for uh, prepaid as well as your uh, bundle checks for your uh, for your for your SIM. What you can do here is, uh, or what you can see on this page is there's an account balance. Um, for this number, uh, you can see how much data is left and what's expiring. You can do a recharge for uh, for data. As you can see, you can put the uh, the recharge voucher number in, and you can click on recharge. You can also do the buying of uh, once of data bundles, either broadband standard or broadband advanced. So that's just a quick overview of what the Quick Connect is and how it works. Um, we will do a more detailed uh, video a little bit later on um, where we can go through each one of these uh, tabs and each one of these settings. It is very simple. It's uh, not a very um, convoluted uh, interface. It um, basically has whatever you need to get the modem going uh, very easily. Um, so yeah, great. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, 
click on the uh, like button and uh, rate me. Thanks.